Welcome, welcome back at I need help at Cisco. In this example, we have a function given f of x equals square root of 16 minus x squared. And we need to discuss the continuity of this function on the close interval negative 4 to 4. And if you notice here down here, I said of f of x is continuous on a close interval a b if it's continuous on the open interval so let's take a look to this first part is this function f of x continuous on the open interval negative 4 and 4 and the answer is yes why because there is no value between negative 4 and 4 that make any issue of this radical like a negative value right any number between negative 4 and 4 will make the quantity inside of the radical a positive quantity so it does make sense what's happened there. another way to do it is do 16 minus x squared greater or equal zero so this uh, quadratic inequality and you'll get as a solution set in fact, you're going to get the whole interval negative 4 and 4. But now let's see. Let's see the last part. Because on the last part, it tells us the last two condition for this function to be continuous on the closed interval. You notice we need to do limit when x approach to a plus. In our case, a plus is negative 4. Is the value at the endpoint at the left of the interval of f of x all right and f of x being the radical given to us so in this one you just plug the number in and you get 16 minus negative 4 square and you get square root of 0 which will be 0 so this limit exists and it is 0 and now I'm going to do f of negative 4. And that will be the same expression. 16 minus negative 4 squared. And that will be square root of 0, which will be 0. So you notice these two guys are the same. So limit when x approach negative 4 plus of f of x is equal to f of negative 4. Similarly, you can do for the other endpoint and you will notice that the limit when x approach 4 but now be careful minus this is the left side of the interval of f of x will be also 0 and is going to be equal to f of 4 so these two conditions are accomplished the function is also continuous on the open interval so therefore the function is continuous on the close interval uh, negative 4 and 4 you can see that in the picture right this function is continuous from negative 4 to 4 and one more time the limit when i approach to negative 4 from the right side so plus negative 4 plus is the same of the value of the function the limit when i approach from the left side of positive 4 is the same with the value of the function of 4 so that's the reason the function is continuous on the close interval if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the like button and come back and c square for more help thank you